everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel to today we are playing another part of um what is this the wolf among us <laughs> so i'm trying to like go ahead and wrap this shit up so i can fucking uninstall it from my computer because it's taking up room and i just you know we just need to get over with because i heard they are releasing season two or it's in the making or something but i did see that season two is coming so we need to wrap this shit up and we only have a one more episode after this and i'm super duper duper excited if you can't tell so let's jump into this wait <gasps> i was literally gonna see if i was even on the right one human you're going to the farm as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it oh, costs to have an entire just starting. family in Glamour? Oh my god. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? But, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I totally forgot we start are starting a new episode. I was really genuinely confused. Um, and I forgot how action pack this game is, genuinely. So much happened that I forgot about. They must have dragged his ass in. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Ew. <sighs> you can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Mm. <laughs> ah, stop it! Ah, uh, stop moving well, it. I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. <sighs> no fucking way you're gonna make me do this! <laughs> no, you're literally... no. Wait. Was I... huh? This is so fucking gross. This is so fucking gross. Hear my keyboard going crazy. <gasps> I hated that. Not bad. I hated that. I do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about I doubt it. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. 
quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Just like, go sit in the kitchen? I don't, I don't know, we don't have a bedroom. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <gasps> <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not Anyways, here. <laughs> start against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? What is with everybody and the pig? So they can take as many bullets, but they can't if it's in the heart. So. Or the brain, I guess. How do you, um, feel? It's um, Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. No. Love her. Sorry, you, I'm taking uh, pictures. You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out or... Or died, I guess. Mm. It... Um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. Do I've you want to, like, never kiss and make up? Like, like what? That. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. <laughs> yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. I'm trying to, like, no butter up. Thanks? I really want them to get together. The flown the coop? It can't just be me that oh, thinks that. The that. They would be really cute. Snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? She didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. 
Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. War. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this this town pig. has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be okay. pushed to do things? Uh, maybe I didn't say I the right thing. I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. But in danger, wasn't don't she like, to me like just put to sleep? People. Look, Bigby, I care I about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, give me a what fucking break. No. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. I'm defending the pig. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the puddin' and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. I she knows something. love the pig. Help me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business She seems office. a little jealous. Left Buffkin alone Not gonna lie. Too long taking calls. Love it though. I love snow. I, I just change out of these clothes. I just think they'd be so cute together. I don't know. Discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know. I like a woman in charge. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here. Look, 
Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. You're welcome. I love you, Piggy. This is so cute. The voice throws me off, but he's such a cute little pig. I just want to know, grab his cheeks and just... Uh, I don't know. He just reminds me of my dog. Alright, Big B. Let's see what she has to talk. I think this is like the Little Mermaid. Yes. <laughs> Love her. Let me skip through this. Hold on. Alright. I have to skip that because copyright. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, girl. Hi, Narissa. Her name is Ariel. I wonder why they changed her name. Have a seat. I don't know, because she's technically like the Little Mermaid. So I don't know why they changed her name. Maybe copyright reasons? I don't know. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Coffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Fuck! If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it?
Don't take it off. Don't take it off. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? Don't. No. His lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. Not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Oh. I think if the ribbon okay. comes off, her head comes off. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. If anyone finds out, I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Wait, you don't have to go. No. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and. and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Like what? Girl. Excuse moi. That made no sense. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you all so, so much. Let me know what you think the Beauty and the Beast have to tell us. So, yeah. But, like, I'm really trying to get this done because, genuinely, I just want to delete it off my computer. But, um, I do love this game very much. Don't let that make you feel like you shouldn't play. You should definitely play this game. Um, and if you have, let me know how you liked it and stuff like that and how, you know how things went for you. Um, we will be continuing Life is Strange also. I will be fucking finishing that one. I need to see how much longer I have to finish it. Um, but there is multiple seasons of that. I just haven't bought them yet. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll eventually buy them. But for now, I just want to finish season one. But yeah, I'm rambling. Um, I do want to say if you have a Discord and you would like to join my Discord channel, the link is in the description down below. Also, I have a Twitter if you want to follow it. And I stream on Twitch every Friday night and Tuesdays. So if you want to come say hello, we've been playing a lot of The Sims on there. So if you guys want to came, come, came, come, come say hello over on Twitch, you can. So, 
not obligated, but you know, anyway. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you hit that big fat like button so I know you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.